Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, to all of our guys who haven't subscribed yet, uh, please consider doing so down below. Uh, and also click on the notification icon. It allows you to, it, it lets you know exactly when we do any new uploads or anything, so you won't miss out on any of our amazing videos that we do. So guys, today we're gonna be talking about quite a charismatic species along uh, most of the South African coast. Uh, of course, that's talking about the Garrick itself. Now, Garrick's scientific name, Glitchia amia. Um, also, a few other common names. The main one that the guys are going to be using is Leerfus. And that they get from the, what looks like a nearly scaleless uh, skin that they've got. Actually, these tiny little minute scales that sit all along. But the scale, the skin itself comes out almost like a leather. So, uh, right now we're actually in winter here in KZN. So you can see I'm wearing my long shorts and my long sleeve shirt because it's still nice and warm. But winter signifies Garrick season in essence here by us. And it's a species that's coming out a hell of a lot more now during this time of year than it would any other time because they migrate up into KZN. But we'll get to that. Now in terms of overall coloration, we've got a, a nice model here. Now you've got classic fish, fish coloration, dark on top, light on the bottom. And you've got a very, very white belly. It's sometimes actually forgotten, but he's nice, nice white belly. Very distinct in terms of the, the dorsal here and the anal down there, the two, those two fins. They're very, very wide. It's the biggest area of the fish. So normally when you spear fishing and things like that, if you're starting out, that would be the place to aim. But otherwise we, we go for a, a spine shot because they're very curious fish. So they do come in nice and close. Other things you've got, obviously spines along the top here. Just be careful when you are handling the fish. If you are holding them like that and he falls back into you, you can get spiked a little bit by those tops. And also these uh, spikes down here, you're gonna wanna be careful of. Other than that, very, very distinct lateral line that comes along the whole body along here. That there, it's obviously for picking up vibrations of uh, prey fish and things. Also, he's got a, a very, very large eye. Obviously, that's a predator, so he's designed for, for looking at fish and, and actually being able to identify where they are. So that's, he's going to use that when he gets close to fish, use the lateral line when he's further away to try and sense the vibrations. Then he's got a, a, quite a large mouth for his size. And obviously that opens up nice and big for eating his prey fish. And he doesn't have sharp teeth. He's got sort of rows of tiny little teeth. It's almost like a, a sandpaper type of uh, setup that he's got here in the front. And that's for gripping, gripping the bait fish. So when he actually, when he grabs a fish, you often have, if people don't wait long enough when they set the hooks, your fish will come back completely scaled. And he actually uses that sandpaper to rub the fish like that and he actually pulls some scales off sometimes. Other than that, you've got uh, a very big forked tail, almost lunate in nature, but he does fold down a little bit. And that allows him to operate in fairly turbulent water. So in your surf zone where you're going to find these guys, they are extremely good swimmers. That broad body that they've got allows them to use the current to the advantage, obviously, when, you, when you're fighting them, but also to be able to turn quickly. And the tail allows that them to power through any of that, uh, that rough water. The Garrick itself is, always, is known also as the gentleman of the sea, or at least the gentleman fighter, because they're not a fish like a kingfish that will try and cut you off. Even though they are in the Karangi Day, which is the kingfish family, they, they don't operate like kingfish in, in looking for rocks and things like that, so you can fight them on very, very light tackle, which is, is my kind of game. I really, really enjoy that. In terms of uh, uh, food and things like that, they're gonna eat, they are piscivores, which means they only eat fish. Uh, the juveniles will go after things like uh, prawns and, and shrimp and things like that when they're much smaller in the estuaries, but the adults like mullet, they like shad, they'll eat carotene, they'll eat blacktail. So when you're actually targeting them, obviously live bait or lures are gonna be the two main things that you're gonna go after. We have discussed these, the rig videos and the actual tra not traces themselves, but the um, tackle to use for them. And we'll put a link down in the bottom in the description or so, just so you can get to those videos nice and easily. Yeah, it's look, they're an absolutely beautiful fish. They fight very nicely. Obviously we've discussed all that. Where to find them now? River mouths are gonna be sort of the main area where you generally get them. Along KZN here, places like Winkelspreit uh, would be probably your highlighted spot down south. Then as you go up north, you get to Tongart Long Beach, you get to La Mercy, uh, the Sandspit there, obviously Sandspit down in Port Chef, and there are a lot of very good spots, and most of them 
are round river mounts. Uh, Mapilana, up at St. Lucia, that area very, very good. So the Garrick like congregating there much like a snook does. They, they want to feed on bait fish that get sort of cornered by the, the changes in either salinity or color. So when river water pumps in, it forms a difference uh, in the salinity, so almost like a barrier, or that the water is very brown. It actually forms a, like almost a wall underwater. And the bait fish sit against that because they think they're safe. And the Garrick can obviously operate between the two and he just comes along that line and just yeah, completely annihilates any, any fish that he can find. Yeah, as we said, piscivores. So tackle for them, you're looking at uh, casting plugs and spoons, generally quite big items because they, they're not after tiny little bait fish. Like a snook likes a small little spoon. Garrick likes a much bigger plug. So a nice broad S-Pen spoon, a, a nice uh, chisel nose or needle nose plug. Uh, you use the chisel nose when it's rougher, the needle nose when it's calmer conditions. Just the chisel makes more noise, so it works well. Then uh, on to distribution of these guys. Now, I've got something, I've, uh, I've had to take some notes. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. Actually, no, C come around this side, come around this side. So guys, because I always forget where stuff lands, or where you get stuff from, the, uh, the Garrick is distributed up in the, the Black Sea area up here, confined to that. And then all the way from Mauritania, which is around about over here, all the way down past Angola, Namibia, and then up all the way to about Mozambique over here. So they distribute all on that eastern seaboard side. But the interesting thing is that Cape Point kind of splits the two, well, I wouldn't even say Cape, Cape Point, almost to a gullus. The Angolan and Namibian stocks are separate from the South African stocks. They've actually done genetic studies that they don't uh, go together. So it's almost like two different uh, groups of people. They just, one's living up there, the other guy's living down here, and they don't interbreed. So there's some interesting things that you could see over vast amounts of time, how the, how the species kind of changes and how they operate slightly differently. They do look slightly differently up there, but yeah, they, they are the same species. Sizing on these, you are allowed two per person per day, and the minimum size is 70 centimeters. Now I've got something a bit interesting here. We've got an app that we can use to to go through and actually check species sizing and things like that and check legal limits and a little bit of extra information. So if you guys come around here, okay guys, so uh, the Oceanographic Research Institute has just has produced a new app that you can download from any of your app stores. They've got hundreds of different species on here. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna search for the Garrick, comes up there. Now you've got obviously pictures of him so you can see what he looks like. Uh, you've got all the information that you're ever gonna need, where they're distributed, uh, in terms of regulations and things like that. So you're allowed 70, it has to be 70, 70 centimeters total length and two per person. So let's, for interest sake, let's species calculator work out how, what that fish was in a way. So 70 centimeter Garrick is only 4.2 kilos. So quite a small fish, which means they're growing very, very quickly. But yeah, guys, consider looking at that app if you're looking for species identification and just a little bit of extra info. As we saw there, Garrick, quite a fast growing species. I think the max size that they've ever recorded is about 1.8 meters, which is an absolute cannon of a Garrick. Uh, and the world record is 32 kilos, if I don't, if I'm stand, stand to be corrected on that. Um, and that fish, I believe, the oldest they've aged them is about 10 years. So very fast growing fish. Um, they migrate, as we mentioned earlier. Winter, as it is now, winter time now, they're coming up into KZN and um, they spawn up here in about springish time and then the juveniles go back down, uh, down the coast and end up in the estuaries in the Eastern Cape and Western Cape, which is where you get a lot of the juveniles. Our estuaries up here, you're generally only getting the bigger fish. There's not really a lot of small, um, small Garrick up here. That's more than likely due to pollution, but we're not gonna go into that other than please pick up your litter whenever you can. So guys, that's the Garrick. Uh, a lovely, lovely species. They are beautiful, fun to catch. I mean, the nice thing about these, we've got a guy, his light, he catches them on a 10 foot spinning rod and a tiny little, little reel. And I mean, he's caught fish 10, 12 kilos on that setup and it's, he's eight years old. So um, it's a lovely species to get into. And yeah, just consider putting them back. They are very, very under threat. They, they've done estimates that it's about 14% of the pristine population. So that's 86% of them are gone. So consider putting them back. And if you do, maybe don't keep both two that you are allowed, maybe only keep one. Ciao guys, the Garrick, Lichia Amia, or Lierfus. Uh, beautiful species, 
If you haven't got one yet, uh, come into one of our shops and we can help you out. Cheers.